Hello summoners and welcome to another Pro Guides video. I'm Crumbs and today we'll be talking about our predictions for the 15 most broken champions on patch 1219. One of the most important things in a constantly evolving game like League is to be able to adapt with the meta. And that's what we're here for you. If you know what's going to be OP before the patch hits, you'll be ready to hit the ground running without having to test to see if that one buff or nerf really made that much of a difference. And if you don't know how to play any of these OP picks or you're just a bit rusty, this will give you a few days to brush up on them in some normals or on a smurf. Now before we get started, I just want to say this list is not in any particular order. It's just a list of the champions that we predict will be some of the strongest, most influential picks on this patch. And one last thing, I just want to give a shout out to our coaches over at ProGuides.com. Our meta videos and guides are a great way to give you a push in the right direction, but if you're super serious about climbing, you'll want to go check those guys out. They're all top level players and they're available 24-7, just waiting to share everything they know with you. So stop grinding your face into the wall alone and head over for some professional help now. Our first pick today is Singed. He's been a super dominant solo laner for the better part of the last two seasons. The one time Riot nerfed him this year, they quickly bounced back with buffs that pushed him right back up to being OP. It used to be the case that people would just proxy with Singed, but if that was the case now, he wouldn't be so broken as a mid laner. It's just not really possible to proxy with the turrets so close to each other. Now, people play him like an actual laner. Singed does a surprisingly high amount of damage, with him even having all-in potential as early as level 2 if an opponent underestimates his damage and gets baited into a longer fight. With him having so much kill threat, most foes just back off and allow you to hard shove the wave, but that just opens you up. Easy roams or just lets you get off a quick reset for free. Another champion that's been super dominant for quite a while is Mordekaiser. He's doing well in both solo lanes as well as the jungle. A while back when hyper carry marksmen were really OP, there was a solid set of options to counter him. But at the moment, tank shredders aren't all that great. With no real counters in the meta, he's just a solid option for raking in the LP. With Master Yi and Rek'Sai being nerfed this patch, Fiddle may be moving up to the definitive number one spot in the jungle now. If you like to play to scale up and carry fights rather than worry about the stress of having to pressure lanes early, he's probably the pick for you. A lot of scaling picks are pretty vulnerable early on, being easily bullied out of the jungle by other more aggressive picks, but Fiddle is super safe. His clear is both quick and healthy, leaving foes without a chance to invade and keep him down. The main way games are lost with Fiddle is if your team is really, really behind by the time the mid game comes around. As much as people complain about solo queue, that doesn't actually happen that often. You should be able to easily carry the majority of games with his ability to 1v5 fights with a good ult. Fiddle isn't the only champion benefiting from those other guys being nerfed. Belveth is right up there contending for a top spot. She was already competing to fill Yi's niche. She had better early presence, but his insane scaling just made him better if games went on too long. Now that Yi doesn't just omega outscale everything in the game for free, Belveth having more early presence should make her the more consistent pick for carrying games in the same style. Next up, we have Shen. Shen doesn't have some crazy overloaded kit. Instead, it's pretty basic, being close to what it was when he first came out in League's early days. But sometimes, simple is best when you just want a champion that's gonna give you a slow and steady climb up the ladder. Instead of winning games with brute force like a lot of other meta top lane juggernauts and bruisers, Shen instead wins with a slower macro style. You just split to build pressure, then when someone comes to answer you, you ult to the rest of your team and force a 5v4. Another very simple yet effective champion that's also from the dawn of League's time is Janna. Usually when you think of most broken champions, you probably think of someone that deals insane amounts of damage or is otherwise super hard to deal with in fights. Enchanters don't really fit that bill, but Janna can have just as much of an impact as champions that do with her ability to completely shut down enemy threats and enable her allies. This is especially good when you have immobile backline carries and the enemy team has some divers like Zac or Kennen that would otherwise inevitably kill them. Sometimes there are champions with kits that are so strong that they're basically always in the OP tier, like Janna here. Riot has nerfed her a few times now as well as the items she builds, and she still remains as one of the very best champions in the game for solo queue. 
no amount of number tuning is going to change how disgustingly strong her ability to impact fights, interrupt bows, and peel for allies is. And what a perfect way to ask our question of the day. What are some other champions that have broken kits? Again, not necessarily over two numbers, just kits that do a lot. My answer will forever be Yumi until she is removed, but that's my take. Let us know your answers down in the comments below. With no nerfs in sight, Heimer is back yet again. And how could he not? He makes the OP or S tier in all four laning roles, with jungle being the one where he isn't absolutely steamrolling his foes. He's both good early and scales really well, having solid poke and wave clear, super high DPS, and even big utility with his ultimate grenade. There are always champions that go on to be strong for several patches in a row, but I'm really surprised we aren't seeing any Pantheon nerfs. He's steadily been one of the highest win rate mid laners for quite a while now, and he's even been dominating top lane. But you don't just stop a crushing lane with him. Pantheon's ultimate is an amazing tool for such a strong early bully, since it allows you to extend your lead to the rest of the map. Come mid-game, he spikes insanely hard, being able to burst down any squishy and even some of the slightly tankier supports and bruisers when you're ahead. Usually, a bursty, assassin-like champion gets hard to play the later the game goes on, since they're prone to being blown up. But Pantheon's E covers him there. Having what is essentially a personal Kaelult as part of a base kit just really isn't balanced at all. After his last round of buffs, Set became a really solid option in the top lane, but he's not on this list for that. Instead, he's here because he's an absolutely disgusting mid laner right now. The majority of champions played in this role are pretty squishy, and with that buff to his E slow, you're able to force trades on them much more effectively. The only way opponents can really avoid these oppressive trades is conceding the lane entirely, but if that happens, you're free to go harass the enemy jungler or gank other lanes. Zac is still doing really well as a solo laner, especially in the mid lane, where there are basically no real counters to him. There isn't some trick or gimmick to it, he just has really good trading that allows him to win most matchups. As with most tanks, you don't really want to just walk into lane and fight right off the bat. But after you have a few levels and have Bami Cinder, you start to pick up some steam. The consistent damage from his W and sustain from his passive allows you to easily build a health lead over time. Later on, you play team fights just like Zack Jungle would, except you're usually a lot more impactful since you have a solo laner's gold and experience now. Your goal is to look for a sneaky slingshot onto the enemy backline where you're honestly usually enough of a threat that you can solo out carries that don't get help from their team. Despite some pretty decent nerfs last patch, we think Misfortune is still plenty strong to make this list. Outside of really high elo, she's still the best performing standard AD carry. She's not just strong, she's also super easy. If you're not already on this train? Hop on! The end of the season isn't too far away now, so it's time to really abuse those OP meta picks. Speaking of abusing the meta, Seraphine has made it through pretty much this entire season as an OP tier bot lane carry. And unlike Miss Fortune, she's still really not at all that contested. Not to call anyone out, but AD carry mains tend to compete with junglers for the title of biggest complainers in the league community. Having no early game agency, needing a competent support, and being left out to dry in fights are definitely frustrating things to deal with, but Seraphine is the answer to all of that. She's an insanely OP laner, with hard hitting poke and strong wave clear even early on, so you don't need a support that plays things perfectly, and in fights, you're more than able to keep yourself alive with the shields and plethora of CC you have. Swain has held a spot on this list ever since his mid-scope update, and I doubt that's gonna change anytime soon. He's just the perfect champion for carrying in solo queue. Generally speaking, most champ classes have their pros and cons. Damage dealers can certainly kill foes, but if they don't have a good frontline or a supporting teammate to peel for them, they're prone to being caught out and dying. Tanks and some beefier bruisers usually have great engage tools and can set up allies to win fights, but when the carries are behind or just bad, even your best plays can result in a lost fight. But Swain combines the two. He does a ton of damage in team fights, and the more targets he hits, the more he's draining with his ult. The result is you simultaneously being a drain tank and the carry, so you get the best of both worlds with none of the downsides. Next up on the list, we've got Zyra. Regardless of the patch, regardless of the season, no matter what the meta is, Zyra is pretty much always the best support for just dominating the lane. Her ability to poke out foes is unmatched, allowing you to basically trade 1v2 as your AD carry safely farms. 
Post 6, she's even good in all-in fights, with her full combo being enough to just about solo kill squishy targets that get caught out. She pairs particularly well with bot carries that can layer some crowd control with yours, like Seraphine, Ash, and Jin, or even Miss Fortune, who can just wombo her ult with your combo. Finishing off our list, we've got Amumu. As this list shows, there are lots of ways to carry games. Sometimes it's a scaling damage dealer, other times it's a powerful early bully, and others, it's a champion that plays to enable allies or disable foes. Amumu definitely falls into the latter group. With his ult's massive radius, no other champion in the game can really match his ability to start fights. And that about wraps things up for our predictions on the 15 most broken champions on patch 1219. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on any of our content like this. And remember to let us know what champions have broken kits regardless of their tuning down in the comments below. And one last thing, don't forget to check out our Discord in the description box below, where you can discuss League further or just hang out and be a part of our community. I can't wait to see you guys back for the next video, but until then, good luck on the Rift, and may the LP God smile down upon you.